Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may preach with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, you are there. And God is there. Have that constant awareness. Lord, you are with me. That is all that we need to, to stay afloat, whatever we are going through. Alam po nyo, every Sunday, at least one day of the week, you know, especially when you come for the Sunday Mass, you know that, oh God, you're here. You know everything. And we know that you love us. Perhaps one of the most painful, parang somebody told that, and many, in fact, said to me, one of the most painful things that happened, lalong-lalo na yung pagsimula ng pandemic, is when the churches were closed. Sinarado pati ang simbahan. Ang feeling ng iba, pati ba si Lord wala na sa amin? Parang they felt rejected. And that's a very valid feeling. Parang, wow, what happened? Even the church has closed. Perhaps, it's always good to remember, again and again, God is with us always and in all ways. Gagawa ng paraan ng Panginoon na makasama niya tayo. For example, ito, online and even Zoom masses, that's God's way of saying, hey, I'm always with you. I'm, I am with you in always. Ang hirap po yung rejection, ano? Ano ba yung rejection? Jesus was rejected by his townmates. Nung he started to preach, wow, ang galing. They were, said, they were amazed with his wisdom. But, but, eto na ang pumasok yung rejection. Pero di ba, yan yung anak ng karpentero lang dito? Di ba yan yung, kwan kilala natin mga karpentero? So they found a way to, to reject him. All of us, all of us have our way of rejecting one another. Paano ba yung rejection sa Tagalog? Parang tinatakwil, tinataboy natin, dinidead ba natin yung isang tao? Parang stay away. Parang ganon. Magaling tayo dyan. One experience I have of rejection, alam nyo, uh, from San Francisco to Manila. Philippine Airlines, yes. Mga three hours, four hours into the flight, my announcement, oh, we have a medical situation. If there are doctors on board, ganon, ganon. Oh, somebody's sick, ganon. So, ako, sabi ko, I'm a priest. Maybe I should go. So I went there, dun sa my section. Medyo may commotion dun. Merong hindi makahinga na lola. You know? So I approached also, and sinabi ko yung purser, stewardess, uh, ma'am, you know, I'm, I'm a priest. If there's anything I can do, pari po ako. Tinignan ako ng stewardess. Oh, not yet, father, not yet. We're okay, we're okay. Okay pa. <laughs> Narejected ako, so okay. Fine. When things cleared up, I came back again, and there was that lolo, lolo and lola. Okay, nice si lola. So I approached the lola, sabi ko, lola, I'm Father Orbos, if you want, I can pray for you and, and bless you. It's all very respectful. And you know what the Lord said? No, 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 Father, I'm not Catholic. I'm not Catholic. My husband is Catholic. <laughs> Rejected na naman ako twice at 35,000 feet. So we all experience all kinds of subtle rejections. Kasama po yan sa buhay natin. Of course, the other thing that we must remember in the Gospel today Rejection at yung pangalawa yung judgmental. They judge Jesus right away. Sino ba yan? In other words, this is the game. These are the games we 
all play. Some more, some less. But we are, can all be rejecting people and we are judgmental of people. Mea culpa, mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Lahat po tayo. I think the millennials will say, my bad. My bad. Okay, my fault. For example, yung judgmental. Ito po. I cannot forget one time I was driving to Cubao. Uh, well, I opened the car in the mission house, then closed the door. When I palikuna ako sa rights, turning towards Cubao, yung Araneta Coliseum, may nakita po akong police. When I was looking at the police, medyo na notice ko na gumagano na siya. You know, in my mind, I said, oh boy. Alam ko na wala akong violation. I'm sure. Kaya kung ito, mangungutong ito, hindi ko papayagan. I will not allow it. That was my decision. So, he told me to pull over. Di, tabi ako. Tapos binuksan ko yung bintana. Ganun pa yung bintana nun. <laughs> And as soon as I opened yung bintana, medyo... Medyo, hindi naman pasigaw, pero sabi ko, Boss, anong problema? What's the problem? Ginanong ko agad eh. And you know that police said, uh, Sir, sandali lang po ah. Kasi may nakita po ako <laughs> sa tuktok ng sasakyan nyo. Mayroon pong notebook ito. Ito po oh, baka mahulog. Diyos ko po. Yung appointment notebook ko pala, when I opened the car, I put it on top of the car. And then went in, na senior moments, nakalimutan ko nandun yung notebook sa tuktok ng sasakyan. Mabuti hindi nahulog. And you know, there I was. I already judged. Hinusgahan ko na yung polis na mangungutong lang ito. Ay, naku, mea culpa talaga. Ay, sabi ko, sorry, sorry po. Halos magmano po ako sa kanya. Umalis na po agad ako yung hiya. You see, all of us, Let's ask the Lord in this mass, Lord, please deliver us or at least lessen our being judgmental and lessen yung nire-reject po namin yung ibang tao. Oh, there are many forms of rejection. Of course, the most blatant, the most cruel rejection ng isang tao, yung pong hindi payagang Mabuhay sa mundo. That's abortion. That's the most painful rejection. Of course, when you kill somebody, hindi payagang mabuhay pa isang tao, that's rejection of life. Well, the rest of us, more, more subtle rejection. When we do not reject the presence of people, nandiyan na siya, pero, ano ba? Ano yan? Yung ganun yung sa Tagalog? Uh, kunot, eh, balikat, ano yan? Balikat. We know how to reject people who are already there and we don't even acknowledge them. Oh, ito na, I like to acknowledge kasi si Father Owi of Masses, siya po ang superior delegatus. Siya po ang nag-aalaga ng mga mga, mga Visionaries po natin, about 120 so all over the world. Siya po ang in touch with the parents, mga ganun. Eh, sabi niya, Jerry, paki-shout out mo. <laughs> I-acknowledge ko po, Father, although hindi talaga ko. But hey, we would like to thank really uh, benefactors Steve and Edna Serenilla, 40th wedding anniversary. Yan, saka yung mama nila, Mami Jovi, to get well. And... Yung na, mami po ni Father Paul Aquino, yun, he's now in America, birthday ng mami ni mama, mami ni Father Paul, 90 years old today. So, Father, yun, we acknowledge, we shout out, we don't reject. Yan po importante. Well, how do we reject people? Ito, very subtle. Yung mga nasa bahay po. Or wherever you are in a community. You know, You're eating or you're talking and somebody just eat the cell phone. That's some kind of a rejection. Eh? 
Kasi nandiyan ka na, mas importante sa kanya yung <laughs> cellphone niya. Isn't that some kind of rejection? And we all do that one way or another. Importante yung presence ng tao. Let's give importance to every person. No matter who. Yung pasalamatan lang, yung tumulong, yung nag-deliver ng, ng pagkain o mga, oh, thank you sir, salamat po. Ah, sabi niya, bakit? Bakit? Binayaran ko naman yan, ha? Ha, ha, ha. Yan na naman, mga kwan natin, ugaling dapat baguhin na. And you know, it could be also silent treatment. Okay, nandiyan ka ba? I don't talk to you. I don't even smile at you. Parang wala ka. People can do that. Some people are very good in doing that. Some wives can give a silent treatment to the husband and vice versa. So, these are forms of rejections. Of course, group rejections. Ito mahirap eh. Some people feel, ito na yung mga entitled group. I'm more entitled than them. Alam niyo nung panahon ng Espanyol, yung tinatawag natin, abaniko. Abaniko. Tumitingin sila sa mga tao. It's interesting, ha? Huh? I call this the balcony, balcony, balconahe mentality. You know, many of our towns, nandiyan yung plaza, tapos yung mga mayayama, nandiyan mga bahay nila. Nasa balcony sila, tinitignan yung mga taga-baryo, kung sino-sino, kung mayroong mga events, nandun sila. The abaniko, the fan. Kasi yung abaniko, ganyan pa. Abaniko. And they talk about people, they judge people. That kind of mentality has to go. Because they think they're more privileged, they're more entitled than the rest. What are the entitlements we have caused by our pride? Number one, alam na natin yun. Intellectual pride entitlement. Mas matalino ko sa mga yan. <laughs> Sino mga yan? Ito yung nangyari kay Jesus. Saan pinagkukuha ng taong ito ang kanyang wisdom? Di ba taga, anak lang yan ng kapintero? See? Judgmental rejections. Oh. May iba naman, economic. Klaro ito. Mas mayaman kami eh. Sino ba yung mga hoy poloy? Mga masa. Iyan po mga pride. Lumalabas po yan. It comes out. Maraming very prayerful, pero kunting kwan lang. Lalabas na yung kwan na, Uy, mas mayaman ako sa inyo, mas matalino ako sa inyo. And ito pa, religious. Mabait ako, madasalin ako. Kaya kung tinitignan ko yung iba, nako, makasalanan lahat yan. Wala. Hindi karapat dapat yan. Careful. We are very good in judging and rejecting people. Which the Lord, as all of us today, know, judge no one. Judge not. I am the judge. You have no right to judge others. Of course, meron din yung cultural. Iba siya eh. Hindi naman siya taga rito. Hindi naman marunong magsalita sa atin. So we have our ways. Ang dami po tayong mga even through jokes, Well, all this is, they say, leveling. Pantay-pantay tayo. Walang nauuna. <laughs> I remember a story. Mayroon pong, you know, there was a grocery. Alas 7 ng umaga. Pinilahan na. Pandemic. Maraming bibili. Ang haba na ng pila. And this guy comes and cuts the line. Dumare-diretso sa pintuan. Nung nakita, no, no, balik ka dyan. Pinabalik nila. Galit yung mga tao. After a while, he went back. Balik na naman siya. Papunta na naman sa pinto. Sinuntok na po. Pinagsisipa. Balik ka doon. Guess what? Third time. Pumunta pa rin siya. Halos gumagapang na. Tapos <laughs> sabi niya, Hoy, kayo, pag hindi niyo ako pinapunta dyan, hindi mabubuksan tong grocery. Ako ang may-ari ng grocery na yan. <laughs> Pinagbubugbog na siya. Rejected judge. Don't we do that many times? Ayaw nating may mga nauna. Sino ba yan? 
exactly. Oh God, marami pa tayong dapat matutunan about humility and about loving. Please judge no one. And mga kapatid, bakit tayo nag nagjudge so nagreject? One reason is insecurity. Pag medyo may tumataas, threaten ka na, na-insecure ka na. Normal. Normal lang naman po yan. Kaya lang, hindi po tama kung gagamitin natin na rason yan para. No. You cannot say, I should always be on top of the others. I should be the best. I should be the one privileged for all this. We still have so much to learn. And please remember this. We should always meet one another. This, the SVD Spirituality Song has a beautiful line. We live together as brothers from many cultures. We pass over it, to be with others, offering and receiving the good news with respect, understanding, compassion, and love. Keep that in mind. Learn to respect people, understand people, to be compassionate and to love. Lord, give us that grace. Yung respeto na lang. You know, you don't know what this person is going through. Hindi mo alam pinagdadaanan niya eh. Kaya wala kang karapatan agad na bakit ganyan ka? Bakit hindi kang umingiti? Bakit matapa? Baka may pinagdadaanan nito. Kaya sinasabi ko nga po last week, I see you. Persons. Who are I see you persons? Persons who are going through, who need, nangangailangan ng intensive care and understanding. Dapat ganun palagi. Ah, siguro, bakit matapang masugit to para I see you siguro ang kailangan niya. Intensive care and understanding. You know, as you apply this to other people, magaan na. You begin to understand them. Okay na. And you know what? You begin to realize, ikaw, ikaw, ang nangangailangan ng intense care and understanding. Ikaw pala. So mga kapatid, please, let's not forget, we are all the same, ah? We are all the same. Lahat tayo, iba-ibang kulay. Maybe red, pula, dilaw, whatever. But all of us have red blood. And God sees the heart, not the colors. Mga kulay natin. Remember the story about this, this uh, well, years ago, I think in South Africa, mayroong sumakay na nakatabi niya, well, black. Siya puti. Ang dami siyang complain. Galit na galit. Finally, tumawag siya sa stewardess. I cannot. Hindi ako pwedeng umupo dito. May katabi akong yabang. yabang. Ibang amoy, ibang ganun. So, sabi ng stewardess, we'll see what we can do, ma'am. That's after a while, bumalik yung stewardess, ma'am. Uh, I talked with the captain. Uh, there's one seat at the first class section. Kasi sabi pa lang yun, tumayo na yung puti. Ay, salamat. Thank God. Alis. Dinala niya yung mga gamit na niya. And the stewardess said, Oh, ma'am, you stay here. He goes to the first class section. Careful how you treat people, mga kapatid. Okay. So, mga kapatid, uh, that's one thing po, ah. Let's not judge each other. Let's not reject each other. Let's hold on. Diba? If we hold on together. Mamaya po, at the harana. Oh, by the way, we have all, always a harana at the end of the Mass. Uh, short songs, joyful songs. So, that's one of the songs we'd like to sing if we hold on 
together. And uh, dear friends, are you welcoming? Are you welcoming people? You're also wrapped up in yourself. You really don't care what people are feeling. There are many who welcome people and they were welcoming angels. How do we... Are you teaching the children to be welcoming, respectful of other people? Sometimes I hear parents say, Wag mong pansinin yan. Wag mong yan. Delikado. Delika na dito. Or wag niyong bigyan mong yan. You're teaching them to be safe, maybe, to be wise, but you're not teaching them to be generous, to be welcoming. Little things. We must fight rejection and we must fight being judgmental. Uh, Pope Francis says, Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Ang daming mga issues sa simbaan, who am I to judge? Tama yun. Respect, understanding, compassion, and love. By the way, for the millennials, hey guys, one lesson we all have to learn, Z generation ba tawag sa kanila? That when you judge, when you point at somebody, this thing I learned when I'm still a little boy, when you're pointing at somebody, judging that person, look, one finger is pointing to the person, maybe one, not quite, but the three are pointing back to you. Simple lessons we learn when we judge other people. And of course, yung welcoming, I believe po ako sa mga taong who waste time, kill time, and you get the feeling na you're the most important person in the world. Many of us are busy. Oh, uh, hello, hello, bye-bye, bye. Well, sa akin, pinakakuan ng welcoming, of course, your own mother. I go to mama and she makes me know, she's waiting already. She does not eat, she waits for me. Yung ba? And she stays, talks about everything. She, no phone calls, nothing, because I am the most important person. You feel that. May mga taong ganun po. Please make your loved ones feel that. Na hindi sila reject. Yung prime time sa'yo, sila ko na lang yung mga <laughs> hindi na prime time. Okay? And, dear friends, please don't forget. Don't reject people. Don't judge people. Because God does not reject. God does not judge you. And me. Sa mga family who are gathered together, think about it. What are the subtle forms of rejection that I give, I show to my loved ones? And what are the forms of judgments that I give to people? Yes, we still have so much to learn about humility and true loving. By the way, uh, I shared in my Facebook page and YouTube channel the paper story. Uh, please try to get it and follow because the simple paper can teach us very profound lessons in life. Just for a short one, we were all born, we will all die. Claro, we will all die sooner or later. And it's up to you. If you want to keep it clean, it's clean. You mess it up, it's messy. It's your call, it's your choice. Please don't blame others or the situation or people. Why you're not happy, why you're like this. Stop blaming a Chinese a Chinese saying says, uh, if you blame others, you still have a long way in your journey. If you stop blaming others, you have arrived. And don't forget our one God who loves us. And uh, the Trinity, God the Father, simple, who never rejects us. God the Son, 
Jesus, who was condemned, judged unjustly. And God, the Holy Spirit, our guide. Anytime you feel like you want to judge, you want to reject, pray, come, Holy Spirit. Back to basics. What should we do while we are still alive? Love God. That's all. Love God. Don't forget Him. Number two, love your neighbor. Don't hurt people. Don't judge people. Don't reject people. And share your blessing. And number three, love yourself. Be at peace with yourself. You're God's creation, loved by God. Oh, what do we not need in life? Ito po. Back to basics. Remove sin and bad habits, bad attitudes. Goodbye. What else do we not need in life? Remove heaviness of heart, judgmental heart, rejecting heart. Goodbye. Once all these are cleared, then you begin to see more clearly Jesus. And that's my prayer, that Jesus becomes more personal in our hearts and that we, like Jesus, stop becoming judgmental and stop rejecting people. Um, it, the story goes on. You just check it out in that channel. Anyway, thank you, Lord. We have so much to learn. Forgive us for being so judgmental and for being so rejecting of other people because of our pride, maybe our, because of our insecurities, and because we lack respect. Give us that grace to live a life filled with respect, understanding, compassion, and love. Amen. Amen. We shall now